we bought a building in you know what was once considered a hood um, and transformed what was a um, you know disheveled building into this you know overly luxurious fantasious men's club type place um, that we could only dream of attending um, and we took every single detail that we would want if if money really wasn't an issue to create and made this this notorious club basically so just, pretend, just pretend I'm napping or something. <laughs> oh, you will be when I start massaging yeah. that. Mm, that smells good. What is it? Uh, it's Baxter, so it's a Californian product. I think there's some mint in it. Now, when I put conditioner, I don't usually put it in with this type of massage. Is this, is this normal? Should I, should I be doing this? <laughs> you should. It's very relaxing, no? <laughs> Well, it's relaxing if you do it. I'm not so sure if I'm doing it in the shower <laughs> as soon as I get up in the morning. There you go. Alright, well. Is my, is my scalp shining now? Can I... Well, today you are the artist. Huh? You're the artist, no? <laughs> You're the artist and my my hair is the canvas. Yeah, make me presentable to society. For sure. The the idea for this was to create a non-segmented shop where it doesn't matter if you're my son, myself, an artist like Patrick. You don't shave very often. Me? Yeah. My head every day. Your hair every day? Yeah. Um, whatever racial background, whatever income, where you could come and do this. And, uh, you know, I used to go to these old barber shops here. They would cut your ear, put on some, like, aftershave, it would burn, and they would just tell you to get out, basically. Um, and there's, there has been a lost art of, there's a generation skip where there is a lost art of barbering. And there, there was a lost um, need for it. But as you know, as a younger generation comes up, has money to spend, you know, wants something that's innovative but that keeps heritage to it, um, that's, you know, what we created Notorious for.